We'll have a conversation real quick. In order to show my personality for the camera. You know, I'll be watching Catfish Dave, right? And what I'm about to say, I ain't hating on the man. He is a he's a damn goat. He is. I don't I don't care. He It's the consistency. But could you imagine being Catfish Dave, making more money on the weekends doing this than he does at his job? To sit in front of a camera, talk, be himself, and catch fish and get paid for it. And can't nobody knock him because he's earned every bit of it. But he makes it look so easy. Like, my God. I mean, I know you got to put your time in. I know you've got to know what you're doing and be set up to do it. And I also know you really are only as good as the places you fish. I got faith in where I fish. Now, do I have faith that I'm going to be in the right place at the right time? No. I don't have that much gas money. And I damn sure ain't got the boat set up to get there. I mean, what the hell am I going to do if one of these actual big river catfish get a hold of my shit? I may not even hook them. Hey, little channel cat messing with me now. Choke on it. Give me some bait. I need some fresh bait to cut the corner with. I mean, I hate to move. I'm getting bit out here. I've been fishing the creek channel right here, which is deeper than the river is here. It ain't been getting none. I've got one fish in like five weeks. One catfish in five weeks out of it. Since I've been in the river, I've got one catfish already. 
and I'm already down to my last piece of bait and I started out with three. I mean, I can cut it up. Go ahead, choke on it. Let me flee. I'll throw you right out here. I keep having to remind myself to check for snakes. I get so damn comfortable out here, I don't even think about them guys. I worry more about an alligator getting snatched in the water by a fish. really do since I tore my shoulder up last October I've lost weight but all that sitting around the house not being able to do nothing go ahead Yeah, we in 4K, I can show y'all this. This is my left shoulder. Tore the ligaments in it and actually ripped the muscle last October. I mean, it's better now, but I swear, man, I'll be doing something. I'll just feel the spots. I feel the spots. I feel it. And it's always at the wrong time. Oh, I live in a small town. Well, actually, I live in the country. I live on top of a clay hill on what I say and what I believe is the holiest hill out there. When I say I literally, I don't live at the church, but everybody around me is the church. So even though I slack on the yard work sometimes, a lot. I run a very tight ship around my house. Not that it bothers me. I live a very quiet life. I don't party, I don't drink. Really don't have no friends. We, I mean, if we being honest. I really am one of the people, I don't mess with a lot of people do. I don't put myself out there like that. I really don't mess with people. 
I am a loner. I am such a loner. The only reason why I got a passenger seat and back seats in the trooper is because I got a family. I want to take the seats out. All of them. I hope that wind keeps you cool. That sun's moving on up. Trying to have somewhat of a conversation with you while we sit here and do nothing. Oh, I do smoke cigarettes. I have an open challenge to anybody that's got the money. You want me to quit smoking cigarettes? You buy me the boat and the SUV to pull it? Get with me, don't just go buy no boat because you know I might save you some money. Yeah, it'll probably be built by Gator Tracks, but it ain't going to be no, you know, it will have some nice electronics in the trolling motor though. And I ain't talking about no 15 inch grass neither. I don't even want live scope. GPS, side imaging, down imaging, and 2D. Go ahead and eat it, man. Just go ahead. Give me some bait. Go ahead, I'm going I'm to cut you up, boy. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to sharpen my knife. Hey, watch that thing for me, man. Let me get me a cigarette. If it starts to go crazy. And see, I'm old school. I roll my own cigarettes. When you see those Marlboros or the camels in the boat, that means life's going real good at the moment. My son is autistic. He's growing to be high functioning. Or, I'm going to say right there at it, not exactly high functioning, but getting there, maybe. He's not bad, he's not loud at all, he's actually quiet. Oh my God, he's quiet. He's quieter than me. But he was literally in diapers until he was seven years old, pretty much. He didn't start eating solid foods until he was six, seven years old. He's smart. School smart. He's an honor roll student. Pretty much star honor roll. I ain't lying to you. I'm keeping it real. It's brown. It ain't green. Get your head out the gutter. It's brown. It ain't green. If that's what that was and it was brown and I'm smoking it, just know the world ain't being real good at all. If I'm smoking it.
Uh, my oldest son has a little girl, my granddaughter. She's two and some change now. As of this time, she's not living with us. They're doing their, we did it too young thing. But as of this time, they still have a chance. She's not living with us anymore, but they're still trying. They're trying to work things out responsibly, I guess. This water's dropped a good little bit since we've been sitting here. I might want to check that. I gotta start bringing my push pole. Cause I ain't gonna lie, I don't wanna get out of this boat. It's muddy as hell out here. It rises fast and it drops just as fast. Oh goodness. Somebody buy me a boat in a truck. It's that mud, man. I was in it. Thing about mom, it's nervy as hell. Been like that ever since, too. Let me check this damn thing.
in just real quick. small town I ain't come from no money I'm related to some money but I ain't come from no money I ain't never really been nowhere I mean I've been out of state I've been to Indiana and I've been to Mississippi, Florida, Carolinas, Tennessee. Alabama, you know, I've been to Mississippi, so, you know. As a teenager, I skateboarded and rollerblade and BMX and I've always been more of a soloist, man. I've always, I mean, as a teenager, you know, in school, you know, I had friends. I had people I hung out with. When Dr. Dre dropped the chronic, I was in the projects, so, so don't get it twisted. I know where I come from. And I know where I want to be. Did you get all that? Good.
Hear me! 